is in the uh, second court here, end of the first half. It's a first and 10 situation on the 29 yard line. And I want to talk about this play because if you look to the left side, big Jordan Phillips is head up over the left tackle here. And this is a, a stunt that we talked to Shaq mm -hmm. Lawson about, right, Anthony, in the film room a few weeks ago. Yeah, Shaq is really good at executing this piece and being that spiker inside. And ironically, when we talked about it with Shaq and broke it down on the film clip, it was him running it with Jordan Phillips, uh, I believe back in 2018. And Phillips is so good as, as being that looper and executing. Yeah. I love how tight he stays right here. You know, first, you know, credit that Vanessa spiking inside occupying no boom and then getting into the left guard as well and giving Phillips that free access, but Phillips times it and look how tight he is. That yeah, angle is edge. almost, yes, he creates it. He, he fires right off a of no boom's hip and he's, he's, he, it's a beeline right to Stafford. There's nowhere to go. And what's also nice about that angle, even if it's a more mobile quarterback, potentially it shows that Phillips is cognizant. We know this because of Shaq Lawson. He's cognizant of, those th those spots where the QBs like to drop and where they like to sit in the pocket. And he they'll base their rushes midweek when they start to study and get that in the game plan of where the quarterback likes to sit and drop. Phillips takes a really good angle. And I think from the broadcast view, it just looks like, oh, he got free and it's a sack. But it's a good technical heady play because of the timing coming off Epinesa, firing off of uh, Note Boom's hip, and then taking that nice tight loop right into Stafford. It's a really well-executed exit stunt, something the yeah. Bills love to do. Yeah, and, uh, you know, it's I did some cut-ups on Twitter of Daquan Jones, who's right here. And cool. he does all these little things that will go unnoticed. Uh, Tim Settle does it later here. And it's something I noticed in camp in one of the camp videos where uh, one of the first practices where uh, Von Miller was kind of getting to know the playbook. Um, so you got the exit stunt off the left-hand side. But I want you to w look at the wide alignments, first of all, especially by Phillips. He's in a four tackle mm -hmm. over the left tackle. That's not normal. Usually some kind of That's alert. <laughs> no, it, it usually means some kind of games come in like it does. Mm -hmm. But I want you to look how Daquan Jones is able to occupy that center. You know, and that's important because he is he does what we call pointing. He's not just going to rush into the gap here. He's going to slant and make sure he occupies that center. That's called pointing, and it's that's what they call it in the Bill system. And what that does is it doesn't allow him to be, you know, looking this way at this game that may be uh -huh. unfolding here. He has to be uh, worried about Daquan Jones, and even Jones is able to push the pocket there. And again, you get the two on one over here on Von Miller. So again, after the running back tried to maybe help on Von Miller, so technically yeah. you had like two and a half or three people giving <laughs> attention to Von Miller, and everybody else just executes and collapses the pocket again. Oh, yeah, this is just good stuff. Uh, again, four man rush, you know, a, a two man game here that just collapses the pocket on the quarterback. Here, Another here. Uh, sack by Jordan Phillips. And as I, I talked about in the last play with him, you know, look at the wide alignments. Ball's on the left hash. You have him in a four technique over the left tackle. Epinesa out to his right. And then you got Tim Settle uh, in a four mm -hmm. eye right here off the right tackle. And then uh, Boogie Basham out wide just inside Cooper Cup. But you're going to see Tim Settle again. You know, this may not go. Uh, into the box score here, but watch how he slants inside and gets that touch on Brian Allen. He gets that first touch on Brian Allen, the mm. center there, and that allows uh, Jordan Phillips to stab inside and then do that spin move inside into that A-gap. And I posted this on Twitter because given the five-man protection here the, with the ball in the left hash, I think they knew that they were going to get this half slide either for one or two reasons. Usually – you know, hmm. teams will set their uh, pass protections, especially half slide pass protections, either to the passing strength mm -hmm. or to the field, because that's, you know, a lot of teams will rush extra guys from the field. Uh, I I think that they expected this half slide here. And when I sent this play to Jordan to get ready for tonight um, with my breakdown and my analysis, he confirmed that this was the case, how, you know, Tim Settle got first touch. He pointed on that center, and then it allowed him, because right now this left guard's in trouble. He has mm -hmm. a two-way go. Either of these two gaps he can go into, and you see him attack that B gap first, but then chop, spin, oh. and it's just so pretty. Look at the – Edwards tries punching out with his right hand right there, and so there's a chop. Here's the ice pick, and then he's by him, and he's able to get the hit on the quarterback there. Just really pretty stuff from a guy <laughs> that's probably in the 330, 340 range.
yeah, a very large man should not be moving so nimbly and so efficiently. And especially when you pair it with a couple of highlights we've shown from earlier in this game where he's just converting speed to power and bull rushing offensive linemen. Now he's also got that in the repertoire. And also, you know, no disrespect to Jordan Phillips, he's a rotational piece seeing more work because Ed Oliver went down. Like this is technically one of your second line, like our second string defenders on the on the front who's executing at this level against starters. Just really impressive from Phillips, but I love the point you made um, about Settle. Like you, you can see how eager he is here as he gets off. Like he's eager to get that first touch. He wants it, and he just gives a quick stab to that right shoulder of the center. I'm sorry, left shoulder, right shoulder from Settle's perspective, just to get him off balance and get him to commit. And once, mm -hmm. and you know what's also similar? We talk about technique and things continuing. He gives a similar punch and a similar stab with that hand, similar to what Von Miller did to the chest of Joe Noteboom earlier in the game. We're seeing all these sustainable traits and these sustainable execution pieces happening, much like we were with the offensive line in the preseason. We saw it with the defensive line in this game multiple players executing the same moves in a similar fashion, all with the design of getting offensive linemen off balance, taking advantage. And, you know, Phillips is the sexy play and, you know, you did a great job breaking it down. So I feel like I don't really need to add anything to it, but settle for me, like you mentioned, that's the prototypical doing your one eleven. Yeah, he did. Do it your is. job. Do your job. Like he, yeah. like, I was gonna say, it, we're either gonna say one eleventh or part of the process or championship yeah. caliber, some kind of Sean McDermott euphemism. Like if he doesn't do that, Phillips either doesn't get home because the center's able to go over and give help, or it makes him getting this clean of a rush angle to Matthew Stafford much, much, much different. So you know, kudos and props to Phillips. Also, kudos to Frazier and McDermott for the design and the alignment, but. Settle helps a ton here by engaging early, having that sense of urgency and executing well to get that center off balance and off kilter. Yeah, that wide alignment, again, you may not notice it in the broadcast, but it is so important. Why? Because this guard has to kick out to Jordan Phillips. So as he's kicking out, look how wide he has to kick out to him. Okay, now he's you know got the inside leverage, but then that's when Jordan Phillips is able to bust out that spin move. And just little things like that went a long way in this game. Uh, to to have those uh, pass rushers get home, and I know you love this play, so I'm gonna let you uh, let you talk about this one. You posted it on Twitter the other day. I do. I look real quick on on the previous one. You don't have to go sure. back to it, but I also love like having those guards have to widen like that against those wide alignments from your fronts, you're almost making them play in space as if they're an offensive tackle and they're not built to live in that kind of world and pass protection. Most guards don't have the footwork and the athleticism to exist in that kind of space. So you're putting players in disadvantageous positions and playing to their vulnerabilities rather than to their strengths. Just another like awesome piece. Sorry, I got excited. No, that's okay. Because <laughs> Edwards actually, he actually played tackle, I believe in college too. So that's the other thing. Like that's a pretty good matchup. But I mean, with the size and speed and the agility by Jordan Phillips showing in, on that rep and in this game, good luck. Because as you said, yeah. he's not even technically a starter. So no. the waves that the Bills have as pass rushers, um, uh, you, you know, Leslie Frazier talked about in his presser. He's like, you know, if, if we can rush four like that consistently, whew, it's going to be hard. a long season for opposing offenses. It's going to be super hard for offenses. And again, I love that point with like Edwards having tackle experience. So he's, he's more comfortable in that situation than most guards and he most. gets worked. And unfortunately for him, he gets worked here again. It's worked here too. <laughs> <laughs> this time in a different way. What's, what's nice about this one. So Edwards is trying to be aggressive here. Yeah. He's, he's stepping out. He's the aggressor. He's trying to take it to Phillips and he does something that, Aaron Cromer would be kind of proud of. Yeah. He comes out with some hands. The execution yeah. and the placement isn't great, but he comes out and he tries to be the aggressor, establish his hand control, establish placement, and he fires out of his set like Edwards is out and as the attacker with his platform before Phillips is really out of his stance. And in the blink of an eye, you highlighted it, that cross oh chop, just the active hands. This is This is so textbook to what... We see it all the time, like in training camp, when like code, like defensive linemen have like the pads with their defensive line coach, and they're yeah. just working on like hand technique, and it looks like they're you know engaging in jujitsu or kung fu or whatever martial art you want to go with. Edwards reaches out with that right arm, tries to get contact, tries to establish. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's his hand. I highlighted his right hand. That's Jordan Phillips' right hand over the top of the forearm of Edwards. Look at how yes. quick that is. It's look so at that money. And, it, and it's, 
it's right there and the placement too like you can see it like the black glove that he's wearing like it's perfectly draped over like he establishes wrist control right away in the blink of an eye and then finishes him with that right arm <laughs> i still feel so bad for efforts twice in a row and just rips right through chops in the blink of an eye like i was when, when you're not when you're not watching it in slow motion and it's fast like it's literally if you blinked you would miss it he clears him with the right swipes it with the left edwards gets turned and and phillips has a free out al- like free a- access alley to matt stafford and again like if you're edwards you got beat earlier in the game because Phillips was in a wide alignment and you tried to kind of let him come to you and he beat you with a spin move. So you're thinking, you know, we've talked to Mitch Morris. We've talked to Ryan Bates. What do they talk about? Like, okay, you know, last time in this situation on in a pass protection, I did this move. So this time I'm going to try this, yada, yada. Edwards is trying something new and he gets beat immediately off rip mm-hmm. with, with hand technique. So what have we seen from Jordan Phillips so far in these clips, right? We saw speed to power. We saw athleticism and technicality. This time, we just see pure technique. This is what you're taught. This is what you do day one in training camp or as you're just kind of sitting, chilling in drills, waiting to go and do team. You see that cross chop. You see that hand technique. And it's the quickness. It's the accuracy. It's the placement. And then also the power and the athleticism to translate it. He gets moving downhill, and it's over. And he absolutely crushes Matthew Stafford clean for today's NFL crushes Stafford like this one's still just it's just the quickness and the accuracy of his hands like that's again we talked about the alignment not being normal this that's not normal just (laughs) yeah it's not man it's like that's just god-given ability you know and it's so nice to see from again a fan favorite and a guy that you know we wish we could have broken those plays down with him tonight but um he's just a guy that you want to root for right he's a guy that you want to root for um, and he just brings so much juice to that defense and a different element, um, an element that they missed last year, uh, the last couple of years. And uh, he's just going to help the pass rush. He helped, obviously, the run game and defending the run and the linebackers. Um, he's going to be a handful, especially when you think about it, again, as that second wave, you know, as that second wave guy who um, could come in there, give Ed Oliver or Daquan mm-hmm. a spell at either of those defensive tackle positions and still get first touch with his length or speed to power or spin moves. Like he's got so many tools in the toolbox that man, he's, he's going to be a handful for a lot of opposing offenses, not just David Edwards.